Hi everyone and welcome to this YouTube video. Today we're going to talk about players not going to the World Cup due to different various reasons. Uh, so that's going to be an interesting topic for today. And uh, Daniel is going to quickly tell us a bit more who can we expect in this video to just discuss a bit about. Yeah, it's been a very controversial and some selective process. Mm. And obviously, there's only 31 people per squad going. Yes. And then obviously, I think I think there's a rule of it's an injury. You can bring in someone. Yes. So obviously, they, some of these names might still appear in the World Cup. Mm. Uh, if there's injuries, we hope not for the sake of some players as well. Yeah. Um, but they, yes. this is this is our, to our liking. Some players we wanted to see in the World Cup. Starting off with a big name, Loa mm. Maupe, obviously. Been in the headlines mm. a few times. Yes. Unlucky to miss out on the spot. We've covered the Sunny Bull saga. Yes. And uh, Ryan Crotty as well. And I think it's quite quite interesting that he's still not going and some people not blowing this up or taking this to the next level. Because um, everybody wanted to see him there. And uh, now nobody's actually following up on why he's not going. Well, like you actually said in, in the, the uh, World Cup video, which we'll just uh, link uh, in the in description, description yeah. below is um, that Sonny Bull had a, has a perfect record on the World Cup stage yeah. you know 14 matches won all 14 of them but you know what is they're still gonna see him play at a, a different type of, of pace and a different type of role than Lamape I mean like Lamape is so crazy good I like that guy so much and he's playing such such a phenomenal game at the moment it's so sad for me that he's not going to the World Cup but as well, he has he has World Cups in him. You know, Sonny Bulls, pro this will be his last time. He's probably going to go probably box yeah. again or he's <laughs> going to play, I don't know, uh, uh, Australian League Rugby or something like that. NRL, so something like that. Yes, <laughs> not rugby. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> well, well, we'll see what's, what's going to happen there. Yeah. But like Lamarpe, definitely. But also on the other side of things, you know what? Oh, what about Israel Falau not not getting to the World Cup? Oh, obviously, a, we 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 expected we expected not him not to be called out. That would have been a surprise. Yeah. That will definitely <laughs> made headlines if if Falau was picked. Yes. And obviously, with this trial going on and with the fight, um, you know, w it's not nice to see a, a world class player being left out because of something like that. But obviously, yes. it has its consequences. What he said, but. You know, some people have different viewpoints. We, yes. we don't, we don't want to get involved in the discussion of what's going on, but mm. still a name worth mentioning, not going to the World Cup. Yes. Would it have made a difference? Yes. Um, in the World Rugby Championship already, it would have made a difference already. Yeah, so I think worth n worth mentioning. And then jumping to someone like Damien McKenzie, oh, uh, yes. who's injured, and Gareth Anscombe, who's injured. Our oh, hearts goes out to you guys. Because yeah. you want to see the know. best people playing in the World Cup. You want to see the best yes. players featuring in the World Cup. Definitely, uh, like like a uh, lightning fast and just great skill, like yeah. like Damien McKenzie. I mean, sure. he doesn't want to see him play rugby. <laughs> one of the s one of the smallest guys on the field. He he brings back memories like Hugh Oplon, you know, playing yeah. at at fullback. Hugh Oplon, just what a name! <laughs> what, what a name, you know. And he he's such an exciting player. I I I hate it when when South Africa plays against against New Zealand and they get Damien McKenzie. That, that, I mean, like. That's Honestly, every South African dreads the name Damien McKenzie. Because he's so good. And, and, that's and we actually tried to copy you. That's what Jason Colby is playing now. So I believe that that's a great compliment to Damien McKenzie. Yeah. And um, I believe that Colby, well, luckily he's going to the World Cup for us. Uh, we're sorry that Gareth Anscombe and Damien McKenzie is missing out on the World Cup. That yes. would have been very nice to see them playing. Phenomenal players. Yeah, phenomenal, phenomenal players. players. Well, well, Damien, if you're watching this video, just drop a comment below. We will yeah. really appreciate we'll it. Well, thanks, man. We'll yeah, get you in for a video. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll come to you. you. You'll pay. Thank you. We yeah, believe. That was a, that was a joke. <laughs> so, uh, Hanscom. Okay, so he used to play at the Blues. He's rugby in, 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 in Auckland. Um, well, okay, <laughs> well, I actually was, was pretty sure he was Blues, but Chiefs. And now he's playing for, for Wales. Okay, yeah. And missing out due to injury, which is quite bad because, you know, it's a World Cup year. People are playing their best. They they're trying to put in the time and the effort to get to that World Cup that stage, no. and then they f they they just miss it out. I mean, there's also players like uh, Warren Whiteley not playing this year's World Cup. Yeah, Marcel Kutsia not playing this this year's World Cup, and that's just that's so sad. So, yeah, this yeah. is this is quite injuries. Injuries is bad. It's because it's. It happens in the. It, it can happen any time. It in can happen. I actually thought about this a couple of years ago. Imagine this happens in the game. Let's take the 2007 World Cup for example. Mm. Let's say the semi final happened there. Uh, you know, South Africa playing Argentina, and Abana gets that intercept. Yes. You know, where he scores one of his two tries against Argentina. Yes. Um, imagine he was offside, but he pulled away, got an hamstring. You know, he he, he yeah. tore his hamstring or something. Yes. 
the play gets called back. No scrum or penalty to yes. Argentina. Yes. You can't reverse the injury. So injuries yes. is actually very unlucky because the p- it could have been such a magnificent play. Yes. And you can't reverse the injury. So injuries is very very unlucky, and it's yes. just some it's a stupid thought, but you just go with me with this. But you know it's very unlucky because Gunnar Anscom, you know, warm up game injury, Damien McKenzie, Super Rugby trying to qualify yes. for the finals, playing, getting the team to win the trophy. Yes. You know not not expecting you know to get tackled or something gets hit injury boom you know it's bad. No, that's so injuries, definitely yeah, it's bad injuries luck and really we, we feel for you guys. Definitely. I always go out to you guys because I know, we also know, we're rugby fans, we, we, we like to watch the game and like to get into mm. the passion of the game and stuff yeah. like that. And we, it's definitely not, it's disappointing for a for a player putting his, his boots on, playing his heart out, year in, year out, and then missing a World yeah. Cup. Because you want to see the strongest back, against so the strongest. Yeah. Yes. Then, definitely. then continue on the list. I think um, mm. worth mentioning Hugh Jones. Mm. Now he actually played for the Stormers a uh, yes. couple of years. Actually Scottish, um, not going to the World Cup yes. uh, due to lack of form, which I lack still think is 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 not the smartest decision from Scotland's point of view. Still one of the best players, young player. Yes. Give him the experience, call him up, bring him, take him with. Maybe he finds his form. Maybe he finds the X factor. Yes. Because he was he's a very good player. I rate him very highly. I like him very much, and uh, I think he did a good job here in South Africa, performing to what we want as centres sometimes, mm. setting the tone, going to Scotland, getting national cap there, playing Hugh Jones, well done to you. Um, I believe that Scotland should have picked him. Yes, I also think so. That he is an exciting player, definitely, mm. and has been playing good rugby for the Stormers. Uh, thank you so much for your service <laughs> uh, for for a couple of a, c- <laughs> a couple of seasons. So that was quite good, and I I, I really think. You know what, the coaching staff, we shouldn't also just bash players not going with mm. because the coaching staff only has limited players to choose from That's in the 30, 31 uh, uh, team, or well, 31 players they need to take with in a team. You know, that's what happened in South Africa with Reinhard Alstad not playing. You know, I know you're happy, but <laughs> I mean, he's, he's not going with. But you still have that limited space for a player, and that's why, like Lua Mape, which we, we wanted to see him in, but they can only take let's say four four centers or they take utility backs they yeah. leave a center because he's a he is a center player he's a specialist in a center position but they'll drop him rather to, to get someone like ben smith because they can even play him at outside center not good even fly off even, even fly, fly off. he's I listed mean, as a as a backup fly off now in the squad and that brings up the conversation of liam squire again Yes, he's also not picked, also not selected, also not selected. Um, yes. But he also made himself unavailable due to certain reasons. There's an alter saga that followed that as well. Yes. Also, World Cup quality player not going, mm. which is sad to see. But also, there's certain other aspects that went involved into that selection process. Yes, yes. So that, that yeah. Then, then you get to a big name such as Matteo Bastereau. I mean, mm. the the centre of France. I mean, captain them in the Six Nations. Yes. I think he was like. And now he's not in the World Cup squad. Yeah, he's, he didn't even make the cut. So, you know, that's weird selection, that, but that's the French being the French. Because <laughs> one time they pick 23 players, next week they pick a whole different 23 players. But definitely a, a squad worth watching. Yes. Um, because they have beaten the, the Under-20 World Cup now twice in a row, I think. Twi- Under-20 World Cup twice yes. in a row. Young players coming through, great players coming through. That's mm. going to be something worth watching. Oh, then thanks. I quickly want to jump to a big name that we, we, we both upset about is Owen Franks. Mm, yeah, that's that's really interesting. I mean, come on, Owen yeah. Franks uh, has been in the squad since I can remember. You know, <laughs> he's, he's been there. I, he was the water boy probably before he, he even walked. And um, no, he's he's just he's such a a, a a player with so so much experience. I mean, hundred and something caps yeah, playing for, for New sure. Zealand. I don't even know how many caps he played for his team um, because he's he's, he's he's been there forever. Um, He'd probably die in one of those jerseys. Yes, he and his brother played for for uh, Hurricanes so first, and yeah. then he, he he moved to Crusaders, uh, the Crusaders franchise, which is successful, the most successful franchise in Super Rugby history, definitely. Um, so what what I think they they made a mistake there, but I also understand what what Steve Anza wants to do with his this this year's World Cup. He wants to spice it up a bit, but I don't understand why th- he's leaving out somebody like Owen Franks, which is an older mm. player, more experienced. But then you'll leave in Sunny Bill. You know, that, that doesn't make sense for me. That no, definitely doesn't. doesn't the yes, because if you want a young team, choose a young team. I mean, 
Bowden Barrett isn't don't that young. Don't have double that, standards. Don't have double standards. So Bowden Barrett has been playing quite a while now. Mm. It's not that he's inexperienced. Uh, Kieran Reed, captain. I mean, playing with uh, Richie McCaw at Crusaders, actually had hand to hand leadership with with Richie McCaw. Yeah. I mean, come on. So that for me, it's just a bit d- double, and I really, I really, I was saddened when I when I saw no, he's not in the team. Because obviously, you um, still want him to score an international try for New Zealand. Definitely holds a great record there. Um, own yes. tracks. Our hearts go out to you as well. Yes. You know, Absolutely. we we love you here. Uh, not playing against you once again. <laughs> then a big name for me that's not going is Santiago, Santiago Cordero, the winger of Argentina. Yes. Um, yes. Actually played for Jaguars a few Jaguares a few times. Mm-hmm. Went overseas, had a successful season at Gloucester or Worcester Warriors. Or I think one of the two. Mm-hmm. Sorry if I'm wrong about it, but you know he had a great season there, scoring tries. Uh, he played and then just dropped. You know, no, know and he's not he's not he's not too he, uh, he's a bit older player experienced. But he's still good enough to play. Yes. And I don't know if Argentina has something up their sleeve with not picking him, because uh, they don't have uh, that big name that that's in instead of Cod- Cordero. But um, yeah, big name missing out on the World Cup. I really think at at that point, you know, Argentina doesn't have a game plan at the moment. <laughs> well, that's that's what I feel. I feel like honestly. Australia, sorry, Australia. Australia doesn't have a game plan as well. <laughs> no, Argentina doesn't have a game plan because the last seventeen odd international games, they only won two times. Only they actually were successful two times, and they lost fifteen games, fifteen to sixteen games. I think actually sure. South Africa b- b- got it to sixteen. So where Wales actually had a sixteen, you know, winning streak or something yep. like that, and uh, uh, Argentina is the opposite. Which is bad because they wasted everyone in. And the it's not that they don't have what quality players. No, they I they mean have like the Pablo again, Matera, um, Pablo Matera is there. Yes, Pablo is. One, uh, we have actually had this discussion off camera that yeah. Pablo is probably one of the best flankers at the moment. Like yeah. I rate him one of the best. If we had a super team of an A team and a B team, actually, I think we should make a video from that. Yeah. Of that is if we had two world class teams, the best of the best at the moment. Pablo is a starting one. He's yeah. a, he's a starting flanker. That's uh, that's the skill of of Pablo Matera. Yeah. Um. Uh, but who's the captain again? Um, the hooker. Uh, Creevy. I mean, what a guy! What a captain! You know, leading from the front, and they just nothing is sticking for the Argentinians at the moment. The Argentines. Yeah. So I I feel leaving out a, a quality player like the wing Cordero. Is with X factor, because we, we, spo- we spoke about yes, the X factor thing X-factor. as well, and he can just change the game <coughs> in a moment. Yeah, I know. And then uh, another name comes to mind when you speak about X Factor. That's why I'm wearing my Quinn jersey in honor of Danny Kay. Yes. Um, this Danny to me Kay. is one of the saddest stories in rugby that uh, someone with the age of 34, 32 yes. comes from a different nation, mm. gets picked in the World Cup here w- with three games before the World Cup, takes the spot. I don't even, what, what is his other uh, Willie, Willie Hines. Willie Hines. Willie Hines. I, don't, I don't rate him at all, nothing, and you no. leave Danny Kay out. That is, that is to me, is uh, insulting. Actually, yes, with someone uh, the quality player of Danny K, and um, and my, I, I really feel for the guy. I feel really feel bad for him, mm. and um, I really really think that I I I don't hope for injury. Anybody never do no, that, no. but um, I really hope Danny K can come to the World Cup and actually show them what he's made of. That he is better than Willie Hines. Willie Hines, yes. Willie Hines. He's uh, actually better than, than Ben Youngs as well. Yes, I Ben Youngs yeah. is a scrum of as well. Also, also so Danny K, really bad man, but. Uh, just g- just keep your head down and keep the grind up, man. Yes, so that's it, so. definitely. So yeah, this this video is, is quite an interesting video, but we would like you to just comment below. Who do you think was actually left out of his squad of for the nation for the World Cup yep. that uh, didn't even actually have an entry? You know, we can we can talk about Marcel and mm-hmm. and and um, uh, uh, Whiteley and people and and Anscombe who actually did have injuries and yeah. couldn't be where they where they weren't up for selection for their own teams. Yeah. But who was just dropped? in favor for somebody else who was not as good in the position or was not match yeah. fit. Yeah. You know, good is subjective. We can yeah. say, like, I can say, listen, Form you know, is also subjective. Form is also subjective. So if, if uh, let's say, f- for me personally, I'm a Storm supporter, uh, Daniel is a Blue Bull supporter, so we definitely doesn't... Uh, Don't you always see eye to eye? Definitely not. Like a call like Damien... Damien... Damien Dillon. 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 Oh, Dillon. 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 Dillon as well, but Damien Dillon, 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 Dillon as well. As well. So another player. Then, so it comes, then it comes to my like Samson Lee, while, while, while he's uh, prop. 
uh, Dylan Hartley, uh, Will Skelton, Sean O'Brien, people, players like that. Wh- what do you feel that needed to be there? Had a great season, had great, yes. great build-ups. Great build-ups. Um, so comment below what you guys think. Mm, yes. And um, then like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends. And then tell us what you think about it. Tell us what you think, who should have gone, who should not have gone. Because that's another video we can do entirely. You should not have gone to the World Cup. Yes. And uh, then, video. yeah, we'll see you guys probably in the next video then. Perfect. Go awesome. well, guys. Have a good day. Thanks, guys. Bye.